In this tutorial, we're going to see how to model population change for any country in the world uh, based off of a simple example of the United States. This is a insight that was created using insightmaker.com. And here we have a stock variable population. This is for the United States. We've got flows of net migration going into the population, flows of births going into the population, and flows of deaths going out of the population. And those are the three fundamental vital events that affect population size and change over time. These rates are actually taken from the actual statistics provided for the United States in the most recent uh, review. So here we've got net migration and the rate is something we can find by clicking there. 3.9 per 1,000 net migration. The death rate is 8.2 per 1,000. And the birth rate for the United States 12.5 per 1,000. So you might wonder where I got that information. And that's where we go to the CIA World Factbook. And the CIA World Factbook is a website. And on that website, we can find the same statistics for any country. We just come to this drop-down menu, find the country we're interested in, in uh, modeling. There's the United States, which was the model I was showing before. And if you come down to where it says people in society, you'll find the relevant statistics. First of all, we do get the population size. So uh, the starting value for population, as you'll see, put that in there. Taken right off the website. Right? Actually, that's a little different. Let me update our model. I think that was, yeah, that was recently updated. So I'm going to update that. Okay, we can't have commas in there though. It's a little uh, finicky piece of uh, programming there, but that's fine. Okay, back to the website. So now we're looking for births, deaths, and net migration. If we scroll down, we find there's the birth rate. There's the death rate right below it. And then not far below that, net migration. So those are the three statistics we need. We go back to our insight. We plug those values in where I showed, and then we're ready to simulate the results. And there's the, uh, the simulation for the United States. There's the overall population. There's the birth rate over time, births, deaths, and net migration over time. And those uh, were created by creating these uh, different displays, uh, which we learned how to do watching the uh, Insight Maker tutorial. All right, thanks for watching.